All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove the, the rear tie rod end here on the high cast. Paint mark right here on the bottom that kind of shows where the tie rod goes to. I'm gonna get the alignment done anyway, but that'll kind of show where it's gonna tie back into. We're gonna take this boot off because we got another boot coming. That's it, that's the old boot. Get the new one, get it thrown on. All right, we're gonna go ahead and kind of put some grease around. And this is the one that was on there and it was good. So I'm just packing a little bit more grease on it and I'm gonna go ahead and slide this boot over the uh, arm here. And I've got it kind of lubed up a little bit. And then we'll attach it. And this is a brand new Nissan factory boot. All right, once you get your boot into position, You've got a little seal that slides this into the channel where it's at, and it's just a little like rubber o-ring basically. You can just use a flathead and kind of pry it open over. There we go, that's locked in, and then you get a little metal tie that holds the inner part on. So you just go around it once and then just twist it. And just push it up, bend it up and out of the way. Pretty simple. So it should look something like that. And we've got both the passenger side done and the driver side done. All right, we can put the tie rod end back on. And the nice thing with this tie rod is there's no ball joint on it. The ball joint is actually on the knuckle itself. So at least this will be a part that doesn't have to be replaced. I've got some grease on here to help protect those threads. And the cool thing too is you can see there's a paint mark there that shows where the uh, the setup was before. That way I kind of know where my marks are to line it up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the high kiss rear steering tie rod end to the ball joint on the knuckle and secure it down. All right, and this is torqued at 38 foot-pounds, which is within the factory service manual specs. We're gonna go ahead and put our cotter pin in. These will have to be cut just a smidge in order for the cap to fit over the end. something like that there. Now I've got a uh, new ball joint end cap because one of them was missing on the other side. So I replaced it with the one that was over here at Julian. Now I've got a new one. So here we go. 
go. Click it on and we're done. Just like that, and make sure you don't leave your ball joint crooked. It can cause it to prematurely wear and get damaged. Make sure you straighten it out flat just like that so it's perfectly parallel. So that's it there. Looks pretty good. Inner boot's done on the inner tie rod. Outer ball joints are placed, new cap. Looking good. Let's tighten that down and we'll be done. Here's a good look, both sides all the way done. New boots, both sides, all tied up on there, all factory, OEM Nissan, ball joints, and everything you need. So four wheel steering is gonna be looking good. But anyway guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you liked it. Give me a thumbs up down below if you did, and subscribe, and give me some comments, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.